here we can see a piece of the cryostat um, where some of the reflective foil that is covering the cryostat was ripped off. Um, you can see here that this foil holds very, very well on the cryostat. It doesn't hold quite so well here on this insulating material uh, that was put on the cryostat for safety reasons. Um, unfortunately, a small water pocket formed here and ripped open uh, some of this reflective foil. However, it gives us a very nice opportunity to study the impact of the water of, uh, on the uh, solid steel of the tank. And as you can see here, um, these are lines of glue that were put in addition to stick the foil to the, um, to the wall. And you can see here that there's no rust at all. So um, the water has apparently no big impact here on the, um, on the solid steel. In addition, we can also see that here this material, this insulating layer, um, is also not damaged by the water at all. Um, when you um, when you have a look at it, it's also it was also very dry when we um, first had a look right after the water tank was emptied. So uh, the water itself had little impact here on the um, on the structure of uh, our cryostat. Everything here is still in place. They are. Um, lines of nylon wire to hold the foil from coming down and there are big bands of plastic in order to keep this insulating material where it is. This here is um, the area right under the cryostat. Um, in this area you can see several pieces of the cryostat um, that were exposed to the water. The rest is again covered with this reflective foil. Here on the um, bottom of the cryostat, you can see the solid steel rings uh, from the cryostat. And again, you can see that there's no uh, visible rust at all. There may be some smaller specks of rust, but these are usually on, um, on screws or balls. However, not on the main piece of the cryostat. Um, other than that, the entirety of uh, the interior here seems to be in good shape. Uh, we have so far not discovered any major, uh, any major rust or any major problem with either the cryostat itself or the foil. This here is a wire mesh that covers the main exit main water exit um, because one of our fears was that a sheet of reflective foil would come down from the wall and cover the exit of our main water drainage. Um, with this mesh however we can uh, prevent the entirety of the, um, of the water exit to be covered with the foil so that when an emergency um, water, uh, the, if, if there's an emergency and we have to get out all the water quick, that it can't be covered by the foil. However, what we try to do um, here is to um, cover the wall with uh, steel wires that run in circles around the tank um, and nylon wires that run around the cryostat in order to keep the foil where it is so that it doesn't cover the uh, water exits. Um, in addition, the cables from our um, photo detectors here in the tank, they also cover the walls and minimize this problem as well. And as you can see on the cryostat where we just were, um, it helped very nicely to keep the foil in place. There are some smaller specks of rust, um, but these can be usually found in not on the steel of the water tank or the cryostat, but on the materials that were additionally brought into the tank in order to fix the detectors we have here in the tank um, to the ground. As you can see here, um, the cables to our detectors 
are held by these clamps and these clamps develop small specks of rust. However, these small specks of rust are confined only to these uh, clamps that hold the cables in place. There doesn't seem to be any sort of rust around here. It's just confined to this piece um, of this fixating, fixating clamp. 